Hey there, and welcome back to Bassoon Bootcamp for another lesson. Um, now, in this lesson, we're going to learn a new concept called sharps and flats. Uh, sharps, which uh, you may be more familiar with this symbol as hashtag. Um, sharps will change the note. Uh, it will make the note a little bit higher. Um, and flats, which kind of looks like a little letter B, will do the exact opposite. of. So a flat note will be slightly lower than normal. So <clears throat> we're going to take a look at the note uh, B, right, which if you remember has all of the left hand, the thumb on the whisper key, first, second, third finger, and then just the first finger with the right hand on the top hole here, that's your B. Sounds like this. Now we want to make that B into a B flat. So to do that we're going to add the second hole like we're doing A, and then we're going to add the thumb on this, the top uh, key on the back of your boot joint. So right above the big round, uh, what we call a pancake key right there, that's going to be your B flat key. Okay, so thumb on that one, and then B here, and then the A hole as well. And that's going to sound like this. <laughs> Now compare that to the B, and you'll notice that the B is a little bit higher, and the B flat is just a little bit lower. Okay, so that's what flat does. It just takes a note and makes it slightly lower. So now with this B flat, uh, we're going to play hot cross buns again, which we played before, but we're going to use different notes this time. So this time our first note will be D right here, our second note will be C, and then our third note will be B flat. So when you go from the C to the B flat, you have to do the first, the second, and the thumb all at the same time. C, B flat, C, B flat, just like that. Okay, so let's try it. Here's hot cross buns starting on D. go and as always practice that as many times as you need to until you get it down um, rewind the video uh, and and go through it until you really get comfortable with it okay uh, again there is no right or wrong pace um, to be honest if you get it perfect or get it even right the first time uh, you should be teaching me okay so be patient with yourself um, be patient with the process take breaks um, and, and, and just keep working at it every day and, um, and, and you'll get it eventually, okay? So good luck and I will see you right back here for the next lesson.